There are so many things in the Loud House intro that people have forgotten to notice. You guys didn't notice some of these. And guys, I'm telling you, this isn't like the SpongeBob intro where you guys didn't miss stuff. Guys, there are so many things in the Loud House intro that have just gone over everyone's heads. And today we'll take a look at that. The Loud House has been running for a couple years now, so some of this is gonna be a surprise to you, but I promise you some things are gonna shock you. Let's go on to number one. Near the end of the Loud House intro, all the characters sit down, but there's something that you guys didn't notice, and it's really strange. Let's zoom in and Lucy is smiling. Lucy Loud is smiling. Are you telling me that Lucy Loud is smiling in the intro? How? I mean, Lucy Loud is a character who's all about gloom and darkness and, and sadness, really. She doesn't like to smile at all, but in the intro, she's smiling. That's kind of odd. Okay, Lucy, I'm gonna need you to smile. Lucy can't even smile when something good happens to her, let alone anything bad. So how is she smiling in the intro? I bet you guys didn't notice that. You probably just saw it, but you didn't notice, you didn't think about it, but you know, you're thinking about it now. Crashing through the crowded halls, dodging girls like ping pong balls just to reach the bathroom hall. Did you know that when Lincoln is running across the room, he's the only one in his regular color and the other characters are not? This is pretty fascinating to see. I mean, why is everyone one color? Pink, purple, but the only one that's actually the same color is Lucy Loud again, which is kind of funny, but everyone else, all the sisters, you know, they have one color, and I think that's to symbolize their personality. Take a look at this. Over laundry piles, diapers you can smell from miles. Now, obviously, he's in a big family, and he's trying to jump over the laundry, get to the bathroom, because it's pretty hard to do that in a family. But guys, there's something very interesting about this, because we're talking about Lincoln Loud here, uh, the main character on the show. There's a lot of main characters, but he is the main, main character of the Loud House. And I know this is unrelated, but doesn't this character from Danny Phantom actually look like Lincoln Loud? Okay, let's go on. When we are going down the stairs, please don't try this at home. You're going to break your neck or something. Do not try this. But when Lincoln's doing this, look at the posters on the back. All the sisters are the same color that, you know, they were originally in the before shot. Now, this is pretty interesting because this is telling us, hey, something, this color matters. Purple, red, black, all these colors matters. And it's pretty much to tell us that it's their personality. Somewhere near the middle of the intro, they're holding some kind of object, and I'm not sure what this thing is. It literally took me 20 minutes to try to figure out what he's holding. Is it a calculator? Is it a remote? Turn it upside down. It looks like a compass. It says N-E-S-W, which is pretty much what we use for a compass. So is that a calculator? You know, I know Lincoln Loud is smart and everything, but why would the sisters be chasing him for this gadget? Is this a calculator or is this a remote? Now. I don't know. I never noticed this in the intro. I just thought he picked up something and I didn't really pay attention. But why is it near books and a pencil? Did you think about that? If it's not a remote, why would a remote be near a book and a pencil? I'm starting to think this is a calculator, but type down below and let me know because I really don't know if it's a remote or a calculator. Now you may be wondering why I sped through all of that and that's because Clyde is not in the intro. Yes, Lincoln Loud's best friend, Clyde, is nowhere to be found. How is this happening? Why is this? Now, guys, we go through the entire intro and it's just Lincoln's family. And, you know, being his best friend, I would expect someone's best friend to be in the intro. I mean, Clyde is not a second character. Clyde is one of the main characters on the show as well. And it's kind of odd. Do you think less of me for not being honest? Not at all. And I think you'd make a great principal. Lincoln and Clyde are best friends. And I know I want to see his best friend in that intro. I mean, he's a main character. So it's kind of strange. Again, why is Clyde not in the intro? Now, I know some of you guys are probably thinking, well, Clyde is not necessarily a part of the Loud House family. He doesn't have Loud. It's not Clyde Loud. It's Clyde something else. So that's why. But I still think it's kind of strange. And I think he deserves to be in the intro. Now, I put this scene in because it's kind of funny that it's literally just a PNG image of the Loud House family. Literally just an image dragged into the house. Uh, they drop in from the rooftop. That would hurt you in real life. You would actually be injured and go to the hospital. When Lincoln is running away from the gang, there is something pretty crazy in this scene when I slow it down. Pause. Wait a second. Take a look at Luna Loud. Luna Loud is the only one smiling. Why is that? Everyone else is frowning or just uh, uh, cautious, but Luna Loud and Lincoln are smiling. 
I think Luna and Link and Loud are playing a prank on everyone else. I bet you guys didn't notice this. Why is Luna Loud the only one smiling in the intro? <laughs> Luna Loud is known to do pranks, she's known to sing songs, she's known to, you know, mess with the family. So this doesn't really shock me, but how many of you guys noticed this? I bet you didn't see this until today. When the singer of the intro says 1 plus 10 girl, what he is meaning by that is, and I'm going to explain exactly what he means, but when he says 1 plus 10, he means 1, the number 1, plus 10 equals 11, which is 11. So there's 11 members of the Loud House family. And he's telling us this, but everyone thinks, oh, you know, that's just a song, but no, it's actual math. You know, how many of you guys like math? Probably not a lot of people, but you know, it's math in the Loud House. Lily Loud is walking across the screen. Now, everyone knows this, okay? No one watching this video has not seen them. Everyone knows that she walks across the screen and says her magic words, but it's very interesting because I'm going to tell you something of uh, a secret about this, but what does she say? Well, listen. Perfect. Those are Lily Loud's golden words. Lily Loud loves to say that word more than money. And it's very funny because Lily Loud's always crying and stuff, and a whole bunch of stuff happens with Lily Loud. But guys, you're probably wondering, well, what didn't we notice? Can you tell us what what is something that we didn't notice in that scene? What did we miss? Well, the thing that you missed is that... Lucy Loud is walking across the screen and there's nothing there. It's just a black screen. There's no background. World. Another thing in the intro that's kind of odd or alarming is when we zoom in, guys, there's a lot of there are a lot of toys and bikes and the Loud House family, the sisters, even Lincoln, they forgot they to forgot to clean outside and put all their stuff in the garage. I mean the parents of the Loud House family must be angry or furious or they just don't do anything because this is in the intro all the time. So I'm guessing that the bikes and everything, the toys, they don't clean anything. They just leave it outside, which is pretty scary, you know, because people can just take your stuff. I mean, if you leave it outside, what if some kid just goes and steals their bike or something? Who's going to keep track of that? But I guess the parents don't care. I guess they'll just buy them another one or something. I mean, they got how many siblings in one house? I mean, they probably can afford it or not. I really don't know. But it's kind of careless that Lincoln and all of them, you know, they forgot to clean that stuff out. Maybe not all the sisters did, but, you know, I know some of them left those. I mean, because come on, who's going to leave all those bikes outside? It's not the parents. It's not even Lily Loud because she's too young to ride a bike. So it's obviously some someone's the culprit. I don't know who the culprit is, but it's, it's definitely someone. Now guys, this has been a crazy video. This has not been like the Spongebob one where we see parodies, but it would be cool to see a parody of the rabbits, you know, on the Loud House in an intro. What if they did that? That'd be pretty sick. If they did a parody of the Loud House intro in the Loud House like they did with Spongebob. I would love to see that. I mean, what if, what if Lincoln Loud was a rabbit and a bunny in the intro itself? That would be awesome. Hopefully one day they do that because they do parodies, you know, they do Halloween specials. They do specials all the time. And if they actually get around to doing something with rabbits or bunnies or something like that, I think that'd be pretty cool, you know, seeing the sisters. It'd be pretty hard to identify who the sisters are, but I think I can try my best to identify who is who based on personality. Lisa would be an easy one because she wears glasses, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Guys, thank you guys for making this far into the video. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Please like the video. Please. And guys, I'm working on a cartoon rap battle. Cartoon Rap Battles. Just kidding, guys. I'm working on three cartoon rap battles at the same time. Yes, three cartoon rap battles at the same time. Now, it's really hard. It's taken a lot of time. It's a lot of work. But um, I'm, really, I'm, I'm really working on perfecting the art. I'm, I'm trying to go that extra mile that I don't... I always go the extra mile, but I'm, I'm going the extra, extra mile this time. I'm, we we want to evolve this thing. We want to get past... We want to make it professional, more professional than it already is, more awesome than it already is. You guys are probably wondering, well, what cartoon... What's the next cartoon rap battle? Who is it going to be about? Well, I can tell you this. It's not going to be about Teen Titans Go! and Gumball again. I've done about three of those, and people are... You know, you guys love it, but you know... We gotta move on, so we're gonna do other ones. I might even go back and do that in the future, obviously. But guys, the next cartoon rap battle is gonna be awesome. Trust me. So thank you guys for watching this video. Again, you know, look forward to the cartoon rap battle. Uh, it's gonna have a lot to take in. It's gonna be a lot of animation, a lot of craziness, and a lot of rapping, people. A lot of rapping. So, again, thank you guys for watching, and peace 
out. Peace to flip out.